thanks to Setapp for sponsoring this video. Apple have made cutting edge advancements with their MacBook lineup in recent years, particularly with the introduction of their own in-house silicon. But the question now is, should you choose the MacBook Air or the MacBook Pro? Let's start off comparing the design of the new MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. I've had the pleasure of using the new Air in the stunning starlight finish and the new MacBook Pro in both space black and silver finishes. These devices are extremely premium and impeccably crafted. Apple have truly excelled in delivering a sleek and sophisticated aesthetic with both models. Focusing on the MacBook Air, I am particularly impressed with how remarkably thin and light this device is, especially considering the powerful performance it delivers. My specific model boasts a 15 inch display and the fact that I can carry such a sizeable screen effortlessly in my bag is truly impressive. This combination of a large vibrant display and exceptional portability is a testament to Apple's engineering prowess. For those who prioritise mobility, the 13 inch version is even more feather light, making it an ideal companion for anyone constantly on the move. Turning our attention to the MacBook Pro, this device, whilst not as light or sleek as the MacBook Air, offers unparalleled power and performance for those of you seeking the very highest level of power in Apple's MacBook lineup. The MacBook Pro is the definitive choice. Personally, I opted for the 14 inch model over the 16 inch variant. Despite the additional bulk and weight that the Pro model carries, the 14 inch Pro version still strikes an ideal balance between power and portability making it a more practical choice for my needs. After extensive use of the 16 inch model last year, I found the stark contrast in design and portability when compared to the MacBook Air to be quite significant. The 16 inch Pro, though a powerhouse, is considerably less convenient to carry around. The 14 inch Pro, however, offers that middle ground, providing robust performance whilst maintaining a degree of portability that aligns more closely with my own personal preferences. Now, let's look at the colour options available for these devices. My MacBook Air is finished in Starlight, a truly captivating colour that looks even better in person. If you've been missing Apple's gold variant, Starlight is the perfect alternative with its subtle elegant sheen. The MacBook Pro on the other hand comes in silver, space grey and the new space black finish. I am particularly fond of the space black variant. This new addition to the colour lineup adds a touch of sophistication and gives the Pro line a fresh new look. However, silver remains a classic Apple colour. Personally, I love the contrast between the silver finish and the black keyboard, which is something you don't get with the Air. In person, it offers a look that is both professional and very aesthetically pleasing. Now, let's compare the displays on the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. Starting with the 15 inch MacBook Air, it features a 15.3 inch liquid retina display with a resolution of 2880 by 1864 pixels. The display provides 500 nits of brightness, supports a wide color gamut and includes true tone technology, ensuring vibrant and accurate colors in various lighting conditions. On the other hand, the 14 inch MacBook Pro offers a 14.2 inch Liquid Retina XDR display with a resolution of 3024 by 1964 pixels. This display is a significant step up. With XDR brightness levels, it manages to reach 1600 nits peak brightness for HDR content. In standard mode, it still offers up to 600 nits of brightness. Additionally, the Pro model includes Pro Motion technology, which provides adaptive refresh rates up to 120 Hz for smoother scrolling and responsiveness. Both displays support the wide colour gamut and True Tone technology, ensuring accurate colour reproduction. The MacBook Air's display is excellent and more than sufficient for the average consumer, delivering a fantastic viewing experience for everyday use. However, the MacBook Pro's Liquid Retina XDR display is perfect for professionals who need the very best Apple has to offer, with higher brightness, better HDR performance and the fluidity of ProMotion technology. The MacBook Pro is the way 
to go if you want the better display. As someone who relies on my Mac for professional work, having a machine that can handle my workflow without slowing me down is paramount. Today's video sponsor Setup plays a crucial role in optimizing my productivity and ensuring I have the right tools at my fingertips. Setup is an incredible app subscription service designed to optimize your Mac experience, offering one subscription to over 240 apps for tasks on your Mac and iOS devices. Whether you need to optimize your Mac, visualize an idea, or just get things done efficiently, Setup has you covered. Start by searching for what you need and browse through the suggested tools. Discover new apps by browsing Setup collections, sorting by rating, or exploring different sections. For someone like me, who is constantly working and creating content, having the apps I need at my fingertips without having to worry about paying for individual applications is so convenient. With Setup, you have over 240 apps and no time wasted when trying to find the tools you need to get work done. Try Setup today and take your productivity to the next level. Links will be in the description below, along with a 30-day free trial for anyone who signs up. Thanks again to Setup for sponsoring this video. Now let's dive into the performance comparison between the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro based on my personal experience using them as primary devices. I started with a 15 inch MacBook Air equipped with the M3 chip. It features an 8 core CPU with 4 performance cores and 4 efficiency cores, a 10 core GPU and a 16 core neural engine. As a daily driver, the MacBook Air held up well for general tasks and light content creation. However, when tackling larger and more complex projects, particularly in video editing and graphic design, it did struggle at times. For those of you doing any professional work, I would definitely recommend upgrading the memory to ensure smoother performance. Switching gears to the 14 inch MacBook Pro with the M3 Pro chip. The experience has been nothing short of remarkable. This powerhouse device boasts up to a 12 core CPU with 6 performance cores and 6 efficiency cores and up to an 18 core GPU along with hardware accelerated ray tracing and a 16 core neural engine. The MacBook Pros featured in this video are the base M3 Pro chip with one terabyte of storage and for my workflow which includes video editing rendering and intensive multitasking the MacBook Pros have handled everything flawlessly the power and performance are more than sufficient to meet the demands of my professional work without causing me any issues in summary while the MacBook Air is a solid choice for everyday users and light professional tasks such as photo editing and document processing upgrading the memory is advisable for more intensive projects. But on the other hand, the MacBook Pro with its M3 Pro chip is a powerhouse designed for professionals who require top tier performance and reliability. If you're serious about your creative work or need a machine that won't slow you down, then the MacBook Pro is undoubtedly the way to go here. Apple's MacBook Air and MacBook Pro are two of the very best laptops on the market. After using both, it's very clear these models excel in different aspects, catering to a variety of user needs and preferences. Personally, I have a deep appreciation for the sleek design and portability of the 15-inch MacBook Air. Its elegant starlight finish and lightweight form factor make it a joy to carry around and use day to day. I have been obsessed with its portability from day one. However, when it comes to handling my intensive professional workflow seamlessly, it's the MacBook Pro that truly shines. The M3 Pro chip delivers unparalleled power with its 12-core CPU, 18-core GPU and advanced neural engine, effortlessly managing tasks from complex video editing to demanding rendering. While I am still dreaming of a future MacBook that combines the Air's design elegance with the Pro's powerhouse performance, this kind of machine may still be a few years away. For now, I do find myself leaning more towards the MacBook Pro for its unmatched capability and reliability in meeting my professional demands. For average users seeking a stylish and capable laptop for everyday tasks, the MacBook Air remains an excellent choice. It offers a perfect blend of performance and portability. 
However, for those engaged in professional creative work or those who require maximum performance, the MacBook Pro is definitely the superior option. Apple continues to innovate with each iteration of their MacBook lineup, pushing boundaries both in design and performance. The truth is, whether you choose the MacBook Air or MacBook Pro, you can certainly be assured of a premium experience that reflects Apple's commitment to excellence and innovation. So, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below and if you are still watching up to now then hit the thumbs up button and think about subscribing to the channel. For those of you who have noticed my wallpapers throughout this video and want the same look for your devices then check out my brand new Waves wallpaper pack. If you feel like being awesome and want to support the channel, link to that will be in the description below. For now though, thanks for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next video.